वेलकम टू द अगेन नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ ब्रॉन्स्टेड एंड लॉरी एसिड बेस्ड कंसेप्ट सो इन दिस सेशन वील स्टडी अबाउट द लेवलिंग एंड डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ द एसिड बेस लेवलिंग मीन्स द एसिड इज शोइंग सिमिलर स्ट्रेंथ सिमिलर लेवल ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ एंड डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग मीन्स द एसिड और बेस विल शो द डिसिमिलर लेवल ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ हाउ डेट सी डेफिनेशन एंड विथ एग्जाम्पल्स when acids of different strength when acids of different strengths are dissolved in a protophilic solvent suppose you say water so what is a protophilic solvent and a different acid strength of different acids are dissolved in it then they appear to have equal acidic strength in water so this is normally happens when you are taking acid is strong acid in weak acid it will be different suppose in water all strong acids are almost equally strong in water All strong acid means HCl, H2SO4, H3O3. Their strengths are almost strong, or you can say th uh, their relative strength in aqueous solvent cannot be compared due to uh, equal strength. So this phenomenon is called as leveling effect. So here water is acting as a leveling solvent for strong acid. Even you can take ammonia also. So even ammonia or water in both cases, leveling effect is done by it. These are the leveling solvent, and effect will be leveling effect. Like HCl4, HBr, H2SO4, HCl, or nitric. So their strength is almost equal to each other. So here I have given some examples also. Uh, see, uh, HCl4, chloric acid plus water. It is giving H3O plus Cl4. So this is the characteristic feature of the reaction. Uh, why they are showing leveling effect? Because water has a high proton affinity. Water has high proton affinity and high dielectric constant due to which. These are a water is acting as a leveling solvent, and effect is leveling effect. Similarly, aniline aniline is a weak base in water, and sodium hydroxide is the weak base in strong base in water. So this is called as a differentiating solvent. This is different solvent, and effect is differentiating effect. So water differentiating aniline and sodium hydroxide as a weak base and strong base, but aniline and sodium hydroxide is strong base in Acetic acid. Acetic acid is weak acid, but in this solvent, both base they are differentiating in water. But in acetic acid, it is acting as a same strong base. This also, this also. So here, acetic acid will act as a leveling solvent for strong four bases. So four bases, acetic acid will act as a strong. Yeah, sorry, yeah, leveling solvent. So effect is your leveling effect. You can compare here water plus acetic acid. So why? Because This solvent acetic acid has a less affinity for proton. Why it is uh, they are showing a leveling effect because they have a less affinity for proton. And for this, a strong acid are not equally ionized. In acetic acid, what happens? What happens? A strong acids are not equally ionized, and that is why they have a different acidic form. So for a strong acid, uh, acetic acid will act as a differentiating effect or differentiating solvent. But for a strong, for an aniline as uh, this one uh, sodium hydroxide, it will acting as a leveling solvent. So keep this thing in mind. So the nitric acid, uh, strong acid having a different type of effect. You can see here this order of decreasing order of strong acids. So this phenomenon is called as a differentiating effect for strong acids. So we can see clearly here. So strong acid plus solvent, we are getting strong acid. Uh, this which is stronger than the even this strong acid and base. So this compound is stronger acid than even HA. This is strong acid, but again this is more stronger than this one because this is the conjugate base. So hence HA plus HC ion will be remain in the equilibrium. So this both will be remain in the equilibrium, and the strength of the HA will thus be determined by the concentration of the CH3COO H2 plus ion at equilibrium. So with this concentration, we can understand the strength of the HA. So thus. Uh, thus, acetic acid is a differentiating solvent for a strong acid. Weak acids such as acetic acid, which is weaker than the characteristic cation of water, weak acids like acetic acid, weak acid. So it is a weaker than the characteristic cation of water, that is hydroxyl ions. So it will remain in the equilibrium with H3O. So this is a weak acid plus water. So with the reaction with the water, it will give you this ion cation plus anion. So the strength of such weak acid will depend on the concentration of characteristics of cation in the solvent. So this uh, concentration only decides the strength of the weak acid. So less concentration, more weak, more concentration, strong acid. Since water is a differentiating solvent for weak 
you see so here i have drawn some chart to understand this thing so this is the solvent i have taken generally which is in our course water or you take ammonia which has high proton affinity and second solvent is acetic acid which has weak proton affinity so in these cases if you take strong acid so in this solvent if you take strong acid so they will show all strong acid will show leveling effect but in solvent acetic acid they will show differentiating effect why because uh, this characteristic s3 plus cation is stronger than the strong acid in this case that's why they are showing differentiating effect for weak acid in water it will show differentiating effects so it is there now in case of strong acid uh, this one is strong base so if you take water ammonia they will show leveling effect but in acetic acid they will show again leveling effect why they are showing leveling effect in case of both water or acetic acid why because base is this base is much more stronger than the characteristic anion of solvent actually the solvent is oh minus is there so from that solvent it is more stronger that's why they are showing leveling effect but if you take weak base if you take weak base in case of weak base in this uh, ammonia or uh, water so in this case it will show differentiating effect but if you take this one acetic acid which is a weak acid so in this say again all weak bases will show a leveling effect just learn this chart understand it so it will be most helpful in solving the problem so now we will see the advantage of bronsted lowry concept over rnas concept so bronsted lowry concept is a wider concept why why it is a wider concept because it includes molecules or ions to act as a acid or bases like this one this is the ions cation react with the water will get this cup product uh, when you take any anion with water will get this product so it can this is the one point uh, it includes molecules and molecules we have seen it so water it is auto proteolysis so you go check from previous lectures to understand this concept second is it can explain the basic character of the substance like ammonia sodium carbonate etc which do not contain oh group so it also explain the basic character which don't contain the oh group which was absent in rna's concept third it can explain the acid base behavior a sorry acid base reactions in non aqueous solvent or in the absence of solvent so here we do not require any solvent so as reactions between ammonia and hcl is a gaseous state so this can also explain so these are the some of the advantages like uh, this advantage molecules basic characters and acid base in absence of solvent now what is the limitation so every concept there are some limitation also so what is the limitation of bronsted concept so it can a substance may be defined as acid or base only when it react with the other substance so it is can define acid base when react with other substance otherwise it is cannot be this concept has a no meaning second point it does not explain the reaction between acidic oxides and basic oxides which oxide is acidic which oxide basic it does not explain which can occur even in the absence of solvent so this is one compound this one compound they will give you salt they will give you salt without any solvent they will neutralize it so which is acidic oxide which is basic oxide, it does not explain it so there is no loss or no gain of proton there are some compounds in which which cannot be explained through the bronsted acid or base reaction some acid base reactions are known where no proton transfer take place like this compound here proton transfer not take place so 2 so 2 you will get this compound this compound br3 br3 you will get this compound so this is acid base reaction but we cannot explain through bronsted lowry concept substances such as bf3 al3 etc which do not possess any hydrogen and incapable of donating protons are also known to act as acid so these are the acids but they do not give hydrogen or proton so again this is failed agar bronsted concept is failed to explain this type of compounds it does not explain acid base behavior in some non protic solvent like co cl2 so2 uh, n2o n2o etc so these compounds cannot be explained by bronsted acid concept they are the one big limitations relationship between rnas and bronsted lowry concept so let us see next topic what is the relationship between rnas and bronsted lowry concept so let's take one example ammonia with water will get this ammonia ion plus oh minus so let us explain both this uh, both uh, this uh, theory with the help of bronsted lowry theory and rnas so in our bronsted lowry water is acting as a bronsted acid why because acid it is donating h plus ion while ammonia is acting as a bronsted base 
ammonia is acting as a brown state base. Why? Because it accepts a proton. So this is explained through this and this thing. But if you take RNAs, solvent is basic. Solvent is basic. Why? Because it presence of OH minus. So ammonia is a base. So there is no explanation of H2O. So we can see both RNAs and bronstein acids are source of protons. Both RNAs and bronstein acids are source of protons. So we can see here source of protons. You can see uh, ammonia is the source of protons. It is accepted protons. Uh, water is source of protons. So we can say this source of proton and this is so we can see uh, this is all RNAs acids are bronze acids all RNAs acids are bronze acids but all RNAs bases like this one RNAs bases means this one that is ammonia bases are not bronze bases so we can say all RNAs acids are bronze acids but all RNAs bases are not bronze bases why because ammonia is accepting proton but in RNAs it is furnishing OH minus Similarly, uh, sodium hydroxide is a RNA base because it is furnishing OH minus, but it is not the Bronsted base. So this is the some limitation which is is there. So this is the relation between RNA and Bronsted. So you have to keep this in mind. All RNA acids are the Bronsted acid, and all RNA bases are not necessary Bronsted base.